FM and some of their affiliates. And remember, at the hour, at the end of this hour, you're going to switch your dial, and we're going to go to 860. Uh, that's Salem Media, 860, the answer, Tampa. Uh, so that's starting at 10. And then we're also going to be on 9.30 a.m., the answer, in Sarasota at 10. So all you do is switch your dial if you're listening to me right now at 8.20 a.m. in Tampa or in Sarasota. Switch to 8.60 a.m. Uh, at 10 o'clock and 9.30 a.m. at 10 o'clock as well. All right. Uh, if you'd like to see me as an eye doctor, you can come to the Lang Eye Institute in the Villages, Florida. All right. The Lang Eye Institute, uh, we are available um, five days a week. Sometimes I'm only there Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, uh, long days, usually 12-hour days. But if you'd like to call to set up an appointment, you can call me. No, not me. Call my staff at uh, 352-753-4014. That's 352-753-4014. If you'd like to call Fortify Vitamins, anything I talk about in this program, uh, you can actually um, hear... Anything you hear on this program, you can call uh, Fortify Vitamins, and they usually are in tune with everything I talk about. Fortify Vitamins headquarters is actually in uh, Ocala, Florida, based in the Lang Nutrition Center, or I should say the Lang Nutrition Center is based inside Fortify headquarters. That's right on State Road 200. It's my old Lang Eye Care building. It says my eye doctor on the front of the building now. You go up the elevator, we have the entire upper floor and uh, the first door on the right is the Lang Nutrition Center. Doc Hall hails from there, and he takes care of business at that location. Doc Hall is also preparing to go with me, along with Eddie Robinson, world-famous bodybuilder, and my son Logan Lang and our VP of Operations, uh, uh, Jenny Purdy. We're all heading to Los Angeles next week, next Friday morning, 5 a.m., for the LA Fit Con Conference, 50,000 people show up for that. It's a big sports nutrition conference where we're releasing for the first time to the public our Fortify Fit Ultimate Muscle Fuel, our new grass-fed uh, isolate, and a new line I've been working on, first time talked about today, uh, a new sports line. So it's under the Fortify Performance Nutrition label. And it's an entire sports line. We're going to have a multivitamin. We're going to have an omega-3. We're going to have a superfood. Um, we're going to have a lot of good stuff. The whey protein concentrates as well as, of course, the isolate and the fit. And uh, a lot of other things we're going to have under the sports line. So for those of you out there that have, uh, you know, health clubs, uh, your body into bodybuilding, powerlifting, athletic departments, anything like that, uh, you want a line that's geared towards sports, uh, we'll have that available, and I hope it's going to be totally available within the next two to three weeks, maybe even sooner. We'll see. All right, phone lines are open. If you've got a question, give me a call, 1-877-943-9673. I know Bob uh, isn't calling in because he thought I was going to be racing uh, my Viper at Sebring, so he's probably off uh, gallivanting someplace, but I am live, 1-877-943-9673. Three. All right. Um, I want to talk about something new that is at the Lang Eye Institute. All right. And we put some technology into the Lang Eye Institute recently that is absolutely amazing. I used it for the last, oh, last week we used it. And it's made by a company called Maculogics. Maculogics is a company that actually developed a process, and we were involved in some of the earliest studies with this years and years ago, and it tests your dark adaptation, all right? And studies indicate now we can actually detect macular degeneration three to five years before your doctor, even your retina specialist can, by doing this dark adaptation technology. So it's pretty cool technology. It's very sophisticated. It's computerized. You sit in a room that's dark. It has a red illumination to it. It flashes a light, and it bleaches your cones and your rods. So it tests your flash recovery, how long it takes before you can actually start to see again. This is great for athletes, race car drivers, uh, you know, just professional truck drivers, anybody at any age. So it can detect macular degeneration in the earliest phases. So now you're thinking, well, why do I want to know that I'm going to lose my vision? 
just so I can get depressed earlier? No, absolutely not. Because then we can make a difference in your lifestyle. We can adjust your lifestyle. We can adjust your diet. We can adjust your supplements and maybe thwart off you ever developing macular degeneration or having a progressive form. So once again, remember the key is early detection. So this is Maculogix. Uh, it is called Dark Adapt DX Pro, uh, really state of the art. So you do have to have a chief complaint of night vision issues. So if you don't see well at night, all right, or if you're having trouble uh, with car's headlights, a lot of glare, um, any type of dark adaptation problems, then this will be covered by your insurance. If you don't, and you don't have insurance, or it's not going to be covered by insurance, it's not that expensive as $60. So think about that as the Lang Eye Institute exclusively. We have the only one of this type in the villages or in Gainesville or Ocala right now. So uh, there are a few that are going to be ordered. I think one's going into Gainesville, um, but there's not many of them in the country. Uh, much less in our area. So once again, key is early detection. That's what it's all about. Uh, we can initiate the appropriate treatment, a natural form of treatment, maybe to prevent you from getting macular degeneration. All right, now I think we are on most social medias. We're on most uh, Facebooks. We're on Periscope, LinkedIn, uh, YouTube, uh, Twitch, Twitter, uh, Instagram. So we got a lot of people um, out there. I see somebody saying on texting me on one of these social medias, Doc, you're not wearing your traditional blue scrubs <laughs> that are in the picture. No, I'm not. I'm wearing some light blue scrubs. Wow, it's a wild day. I remember, it's 2020, the year of the eye doctor. All right, um, phone lines are back open. I'm going to give you some uh, number, and you will take some calls in a minute. 877-943-9673. Also, uh, I want to talk about one other new product, and then I'm going to ask Dr. Hall to call in here in just a second, and I bet he's going to call in. But I want to talk about one other product before we start taking a lot of calls, something called Ilux. A lot of you have played with dry eyes. A lot of you have eyes that feel sandy, gritty, burn, tear, itch, and you've tried everything, every artificial tear, antibiotics, oral antibiotics. You've had a procedure called Lipiflow. You've had IPL lasers done. You've had meibomian gland probing. You've had plugs put in punctal occlusion for dry eye, and your eyes are still sandy, gritty, burned to your itch. Well, it's time for you to try some new technology. Once again, Alcon just developed this technology or, or purchased this technology. It's just FDA approved recently. It's called Ilux. It is the only FDA approved handheld uh, unit that actually heats up your meibomian glands. These are the little lid, the, the glands around your lid margins that actually get clogged as we get older and it creates a terrible dry eye. It also causes your lids to swell a little bit. If you look at your lower and upper lids, sometimes they're swollen. It's because these glands are getting blocked. They're getting blocked with viral matter, bacterial matter, mite eggs. That's right, Dimidex. They lay eggs. So the bug actually gets in and the eggs get in there. And so this procedure actually heats up these glands and then expresses these glands. It puts a little pressure in there and makes everything in the gland ooze out. All right, then we clean it off. It's amazing. We've had many patients that have had it done at the Lang Eye Institute. It works. So if you've had chronic dry eyes and nothing's helped, think about Ilux for my Bohemian gland treatment. Uh, Stephanie is my certified person that does it, my technician. She's done many of them. It's painless. It takes 15 minutes. The only caveat, it is not covered by your insurance. So it does cost $599 to do it, but uh, that's a small price to pay to actually really improve uh, the quality of your vision and the comfort of your eyes. All right, um, I think we're going to go to uh, Doc Hall. I think he's on hold and then we're gonna take some calls. Dr. Hall, are you there? I'm here. Hey, thanks for calling in. Yep, yeah, I'm doing. I'm a, I'm I'm a I'm a rebel. You know what can I say? I got light blue scrubs on. <laughs> so you know, Tammy was gone. So she usually has everything prepared and laid out. I mean, I had to fix breakfast this morning. I had to get mom up, make her breakfast, feed the dogs, put them outside, and I had to get dressed and uh, find out what to wear. So uh, the light blue scrubs were the closest. I don't know where the dark blue ones were. They were probably already prepared, but. 
Tammy and Mackenzie are actually in Jacksonville at the Tropical Ice Open Challenge. It's a JJVA sanctioned uh, volleyball tournament and No Name Volleyball is there and hopefully they're going to win the whole tournament. I got to do a shout out to the No Name Volleyball team, the 14-year-old volleyball team. They played last week in a volleyball tournament in Tampa and all the teams from all over Florida were there and they actually played up. They're a 14-year-old team and most of the people on the team are 12 to 13 years of age, but it is a 14-year-old team and they played in the 16-year-old bracket. They beat everybody, every 16-year-old team. At the end, <laughs> the playoffs were between uh, no-name 14-year-old team and no-name 15-year-old team because the 15-year-old team played up in the 16-year-old, and they both won everything. So it was interesting. They played each other. It's the first time in the history of Florida volleyball that this has happened. And, you know, I got to tell you, the 14-year-old kids played their heart out. They almost beat the 15-year-old team in the last game, almost. So... Uh, that's a shout out to the volleyball moms and dads and all the kids playing volleyball. It's, uh, they've really put a lot of effort into it. I mean, this is like three hours of practice every day. Uh, plus, McKenzie has a trainer, you know, working out with weights. So, you know, other than studying, uh, she plays a lot of volleyball. She still plays all the other sports at school. But, you know, maybe this is going to keep her away from the boys. <laughs> And she's almost as tall as me now. Hey, uh, um, Doc, before we start talking about some stuff, let's take a few calls, okay? All right, we're going to go to Steve in Clearwater. Steve, thanks for holding. Good morning. Bilberry jam, that's right. Right. That's you're, you're exactly right. I and the science behind that. I mean, it's bound to be helping something with the rods because that's responsible for your night vision. So it's probably the, the rhodops rhodopsin reactions. Uh, maybe it's helping vitamin A get through to the rods. I have no idea, but that's worth uh, that's probably something that a Ph.D. in some sort of, uh, you know, genetic uh, retina. That'd be something Dr. Shalace Kaushal would be very good question to ask him. Hmm. Which would not be good, yeah, as you know. Right, so it, it doesn't get into the science of it, but, you know, this is something for you to think about because you've you're, you got the scientific mind. You know, what we're finding out is there's a cholesterol layer that actually can block some of the vitamin A from getting through. And this may be one of the early causes of this macular degeneration. And these drusen develop. And it's a LDL cholesterol, but LDL cholesterol is like in a few different types. You got these big fluffy ones and you got these small little tight hard drusen. Those are the ones, not drusen, but uh, LDL cholesterol. Those are the ones that we need to try to lower. That's the type of LDL that's bad. And uh, from what I know, most cholesterol-lowering medications are lowering both types of the LDL. And I could be wrong, uh, but they should be working on some way of actually lowering that one specific type of LDL cholesterol. Uh, because you got to remember, the other type of cholesterol is actually a shuttle system to bring the carotenoids to your retina. So if you just willy-nilly lower all cholesterol, total cholesterol, you may be 
and increasing the risk of macular degeneration accelerating. And a lot of times when I see patients with lots of geographic atrophy and I ask them if they're on a statin drug and they've been on a statin drug for the last 20 years. So is there a correlation is the question. Mm-hmm. Yep, you're absolutely right. <laughs> well, I had a weird dream. I'm not going to tell anybody about, about that dream, but I did have a weird dream, and, and that's one of the reasons I'm not racing. Uh, but, all right. Take care, Steve. Bye-bye. All right, you're listening to Ask the Doctor, and we're going to take the next caller in one qu uh, one quick qu uh, second. But first, I want Doc Hall to chime in before we get to the next call. Doc Hall, tell me, uh, there's something you're excited about, and I think you're already packed. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to it as well. And I'm going to do a shout out to a, a, a nationally recognized or a world famous bodybuilder, power lifter, um, strong man and, and uh, strong man champion and arm wrestling champion. That's Eddie Robinson. If he's listening, Eddie's going to be uh, getting on the plane with us. So you guys don't fight about who gets to sit next to me. OK. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to go to the next caller. So let's see. I think uh, Arthur in Panama City Beach is on hold. Arthur, good morning. Thanks for holding. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Yep. I, I, I love it. And, and now it's hard because it's hard to eat things because lectins are in anything and everything. But, you know, I've been working on a diet that's called the Lang Survival Diet, and I take it to the next level, okay? Uh, you see, lectins are a protein that actually can cause a whole lot of digestive issues. They can actually punch holes in your intestinal lining, okay? And so a lot of these people that have this bloating and this constant pain in their stomach and they can't lose this belly fat, a lot of it's due to the lectins, right? And so I'm taking it to the next level. I call it the Lang survival diet and I might be changing it to the Lang longevity diet. So it's not only lectin free, but it's FODMAP free as well. Because FODMAPs are foods that actually ferment in the gut and cause bloating and swelling as well. But then I'm also gonna go oxalate free or low oxalates. All you gotta do is have one kidney stone, Arthur, and then you're gonna appreciate being on a low oxalate diet. And here's an example, spinach. I've recommended spinach forever, but now I'm recommending kale over spinach because spinach per serving has almost 10,000 milligrams of oxalates where kale has like 10. So it's, it's got all the nutrients, the lutein and the vitamins without the bad oxalates. And you can think of oxalates as being like little glass shards. So that adds to the problem that lectins are already creating. And then I would want it to be gluten-free as well. Obviously low in lectins, low in something called phytic acid, which is similar to lectins. Oatmeal is a very high in dietary phytates, which is phytic acid. It's an anti-nutrient. It blocks the absorption of nutrients. And oatmeal also has aflatoxins in it. It's kind of like a fungus. And then lastly, no phytoestrogens. That's flaxseed. That's soy. All right. Those are really bad. And then the final one is alkaloids. And alkaloids can fall in the same class as lectins. Lectins have a lot of cross sensitivities. Alkaloids are nightshades, things like tomatoes and potatoes. And so it boils down to there's not a whole heck of a lot of foods you can eat. I mean, Arthur, if you get a pen, write this down pretty quickly. I found a list of foods you can eat and, and it's pretty short. This is Dr. Lang's safe list of foods. You can eat mustard greens. You can eat organic kale. You can eat broccoli tops. You can eat bok choy. You can eat cabbage. You can eat the turnip root. You can have organic lettuce. You can have pineapples, bananas, lemons, limes, organic blueberries, organic strawberries, organic cantaloupe, and organic grapes. Well, it could be regular cantaloupe. It doesn't have to be organic. Then you can have cucumbers, and you can have zucchini and squash only once a week because zucchini and squash do have lectins in it but very low on the lectin totem pole. But I agree with him, all right? Uh, it, you have to take the bull by the horns and you have to start eating the foods that are not gonna create problems with your gut, with digestion, um, because then you're in big trouble. Well, yeah, so we do have spinach in the superfood. And, you know, I've been thinking about taking that out. now. There is some evidence also that certainly if you go with organic, it's going to be better. Because remember, spinach is also one of the dirty dozen. So you always want spinach to be organic. But I'm actually looking to see what happens to lectins when it's pulverized and freeze-dried and pulverized. Because i got to find out what happens to the lectins. Lectins, you can make these things actually less in lectins if you soak them overnight in an acid medium. Put some lemon juice or some apple cider vinegar and then cook them a little bit longer. So if you got to eat beans, soak them. I would soak beans for 48 hours. Put an app, you know, uh, apple cider vinegar, like a shot of it in there, and I would cook them twice as long as I would usually. And so cooking and soaking will actually bring uh, down the lectin content and make it much safer. Here's an example, oatmeal. Oatmeal is high in dietary phytates, it's high in lectin, it's high in uh, aflatoxins. And it's also high in glycophosphate. So if you soak uh, oatmeal all day long, it's not going to get rid of the pesticide, the Roundup. So that's why it's got to be organic to begin with. So remember, you have to look out for the pesticides also. So remember, the dirty does and don't touch them unless they're organically grown. But I'm going to determine if, if I think the content of lectins is high in my superfood, absolutely. The next batch will not have spinach in it. All right, you take care.
And Dr. Gundry has done some amazing things, uh, some amazing research in nutrition. And he was a, a pretty famous uh, boarded cardiologist and cardiothoracic surgeon. Uh, I think he has some books out there as well. Uh, but it, it boils down to yeah, there's not a lot of foods you can eat. Now, every now and then you got to say, what the heck? Have a big pizza, all right? Have a roast beef po' boy. Have some fried fish. But every now and then. Another thing you cannot eat is rice. And I don't care if it's organic or if it's brown, you can't eat rice. Now, every now and then you can. But rice is very high in arsenic, and you cannot soak the arsenic out of it. And if you're going to eat rice, if you're going to go someplace and eat rice, we used to think, hey, let's eat the brown rice. It's better for us. You know, it has higher fiber. It has the husk and the hull. And now we find out that that's where all the bad stuff is in, uh, the arsenic and the glyphosate. So if you got to eat rice, eat white rice. Bassani white rice is the best. All right, let's go back to Doc Hall. So, Doc, literally, when we go out sometimes, sometimes we splurge and eat anything, but other times we get pretty picky, and there's not a lot on the menu you can eat these days, is there? Right before lunchtime, and you and I, uh, we we had a very light breakfast early, early in the morning, and we were both very, very hungry at that point, and looking forward to lunch. And uh, when when the uh, the lecturer uh, finished his his talk, we looked at each other with a look on our face, and we both looked at each other at the same time and said, "What are we going to eat?" And um, because it it, uh, it becomes limiting, uh, our uh, our environment is changing, and uh, just like who would know. That uh, you would think that uh, uh, rice is bad for you, and and uh, oh, we know white rice. That's so. Uh, eat brown rice. Well, it's loaded up with uh, with arsenic, and as you said earlier, uh, you can't wash or scrub that out. They can't soak it. And uh, so you know, you, you go back to what we can eat, and that's what came up with the uh, the new diet plan and, and like that, which you're still refining because uh, you know things are changing. Oh. And uh, as you well know. You know, you have to make wise choices after all the time. You and I eat out a lot when we're on the road. We meet a few times a week, we discuss things, we have an evening meal, something to play back. And you really have to make wise choices at that time. You know, your body needs the fuel, but it has to be the right kind of fuel. It's not, you know, if, if you have a hundred thousand dollar car sitting in your driveway and you put the cheapest fuel in there, the cheapest oil, and you don't you don't do the I don't care how many horsepower it, it, it has in it or how fast it's supposed to go. All right, it's not going to go if you don't put in the right fuel. And certainly, Dr. Lang, you know that from your racing experience. If you have the wrong mixture, mixture in there and the wrong uh, 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 maintenance uh, uh, program and like that, the car's not going to run the way it's supposed to, right? You got it. That's absolutely right. And God made a pretty good body if we give it the right fuel. The problem yeah, is know. the right fuel yeah, is very know. hard to find. And that's great, great advice for anybody. All right, we're going to open up the phone lines. If you've got a question regarding your vision, I care. I am live in the studios. I am not racing at the Winterfest right now. And uh, and uh, in uh, where is that? Sebring, like I thought I was. Uh, the phone number, if you'd like to give me a call, is 877 943 9673. That's 877 943 9673. All right, talking a little bit about dry eye, remember, uh, a lot of you have sandy, gritty, burny, teary, itchy eyes, and you know I'm all into nutrition. I developed a product I'm holding up in front of everybody right now. It's a box. It's called Fortify Advanced Dry Eye Therapy. You can get that at fortify.com. Uh, you can go by and see Doc Hall at the Lang Nutrition Center in Ocala. Um, you can call uh, the Lang Nutrition Center or Fortify Vitamins. The phone number is 866 503 nine seven four six once again the phone number is eight six six nine four three no eight six six five zero three nine seven four six that's four to five vitamins 
and I see some people uh, could not hear us on one of the Facebook pages. Uh, you should be able to hear us now, really, because I put the headphones next to it, and I think it's going to be fine. Uh, but maybe not. <laughs> Joe says he's going to fix it. So you will hear the callers. But we should be live. Uh, if you go and look on Facebook, just look above where you are, and there should be another live Facebook going on right now um, that will have us live. So anyway, you should be able to hear us. Judy, you can chime in and let me know if that's working. Um, anyway, Fortify Advanced Dry Eye Therapy is a really cool supplement. I worked on this for years and years and years and developed a product that actually has three different supplements in it. If you see me, I'm opening the box and inside it, there's Fortify Super Omega, all right? There is Fortify Black Current Seed Oil, high dosage of that, which is high in GLA, and Fortify Focus, all three. A lot of you are taking all three to begin with, well, when you buy it already like this, you're getting it for $62. If you buy them individually, it's going to be much more expensive. So these combined together are amazing for dry eye therapy. Amazing, all right? It is a nutrient package, and I could get into the science of why it works, but it does work. Now, I started off the program earlier talking about if you try all of these things and they don't work, then what are you going to do? Well, you're going to have the eye lux done. And ILUX is a way of actually opening up these glands that become clogged and enables the glands to actually secrete a healthier tear film, gets rid of your dry eye symptomology. And just luck of the draw, we happen to have somebody on hold, uh, we'll talk to them in a minute, um, that had this procedure done. But first, we're going to take some calls. Let's see. We're going to go to, I think, Steve is next. Steve in Tampa. Good morning. My next statement, which is when you're on the road and you can't find any clean food, you're not going to starve to death. Sometimes it's better, you're better off eating nothing. Yeah, well, that's true. You can always pull into a grocery store and buy uh, uh, white albacore tuna in spring water and buy some pickled organic or even pickled vegetables. And yeah, or even bring in a bottle of water. I mean, it's just, you, you're not going to starve to death. And sometimes it's just better off. I found not eating anything at all. And, and who doesn't need to uh, cut back on calories level? Also, before I'm going on a trip someplace, I always really hit the gym hard and, you know, bulk up on my uh, uh, fruits and vegetables and so forth before I leave. So my body can handle that two or three uh, days of whatever happens, you know? So everybody, Steve, everybody should have a, a thing of uh, organic blue-green superfood and some of the Fortify Super Protein or the grass-fed isolate in their car with a shaker, and then you just put a scoop of each, shake it up, and that's a complete meal. Yeah, absolutely, because there's nothing that's bad food, including uh, the salad, have so much stay fresh and all these things on them. Uh, every, every notice the McDonald's salad, uh, I mean, they're never brown. They're not, I mean, they're these are chemicals, folks. Yep. This is why we're getting sick. You know, <laughs> if you went through the fast food and you were getting the salad thinking it was going to be good for you, like you said, it's got a lot of chemicals in the salad that make it stay fresh. Remember, uh, lettuce is one of the dirty dozens, so it's going to have a lot of chemicals. Tomatoes are an alkaloid, very high in lectins and very high in some other things that aren't very good for you. So there's not, and then the cheese comes from a eight. A1 beta casein that causes leaky gut, diabetes, cancer, autism in kids. So it's really tough to eat fast food. I tell you, the big fast food giant out there, if they were smart, they would come out with a healthy menu and have some sort of organic grass-fed burger on a gluten-free or an organic whole wheat bun with A2 uh, uh, cheese. You know, they could do that. And believe it or not, I think it'd be a big hit. Because people are becoming proactive in their health. And, you know, I'd pay $2 more for a healthy uh, meal through a fast food restaurant. I, I, you're correct, doctor, but I just don't think that that's the bulk of their clientele. And it nope. just can't interrupt their business model too much. You know? you're, abs you're absolutely correct. It ain't going to happen. <laughs> and this new uh, possible burger, the jury's out on what exactly the chemicals that are in there. They may not be neat, but... What is it? No one's printed the, the chemical list yet. So. <laughs> right. 
Well, somebody uh, had actually talked about on Instagram uh, these eggs that are fake eggs. They're vegetable eggs. And they had soy lecithin in them. They had a type of uh, tetraphosphate that causes uh, aging, premature aging, that was a preservative in it. And it's not a complete protein to begin with. So, you know, eat the real eggs. Uh, a friend who was uh, a pastor and actually he owned a little health food store too, told me 35, 40 years ago, he says it's simple. Just, just what is close to what God made, you can put in your body as you can. In the less that man has touched it, and you'll live as long as you want to. Amen, brother. Ah, it's a long story. <laughs> all right, all right, bye-bye. All right, bye. All right, we're going back to the calls. We got a few more people loaded up. We're going to see Judy's been waiting impatiently. Judy and Ocala, thanks for holding. Good morning. Yeah, how close are you to opening your fast food restaurant? <laughs> that's a good question. We could call it Dr. Mike's McHealthy. Optimap. Opto. Optomap, right. So, you know, okay. is that a good thing? Yeah, Optomap is really good technology. It is, but in my opinion, it does not replace a dilation because the Optomap will not get all the way out to the peripheral part of the retina. You will not be able to see everything. I mean, we've got that technology and, and we utilize it uh, not to replace dilations. We utilize it only to help uh, photo document, you know, peripheral pathology, retinal tears, retinal detachments, things of this nature. So I, I would say um, it's, you know, it's definitely better than nothing. And I think people that don't want to be dilated, it does give the doctor a lot better field of view and it can pick up a lot of pathology without being dilated. So I don't think it replaces the, it doesn't replace the dilation. Now what you can do next time you see your optometrist or ophthalmologist, ask them to actually use a weaker concentration. You can use a half percent tropicamide instead of 1%, and you don't need the phenylephrine. So a half percent tropicamide only, and he won't be dilated anywhere near as long. Yeah, I don't, I, yeah, that's true. And, and the dilation doesn't cost extra. So yeah. save, save the $38. Well, it depends on how good the doctor is. If you have confidence in that doctor, well, absolutely. I, I'm I, I'm pretty good at using what we call binocular indirect ophthalmoscopy. So I look at the peripheral retina when you're dilated, and, and I don't miss a lot. Now, I'm not perfect, so I can miss some things, but I see everything that OptoMap is going to see, and it's not going to be $38. And plus, we take most insurances anyway. Absolutely. I'm, I'm uh, welcoming you back into the fold. Uh, I call, all right, call, get, write this down. 352-753-4014. So 352-753-4014. That's the Lang Eye Institute in the villages. And if you want to see me personally, just say I want to see Dr. Lang. Otherwise, you might be on one of my other doctors. They're all good, but they try to keep them busy because I'm so booked. But just say, I want to see Dr. Lang. All right. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. And we're going to take the next caller. Then we're going to talk with Dr. Hall, who's waiting patiently. He might be having some breakfast. Who knows? Let's go back to Linda in Ocala. Linda, good morning. Right? Yep, I would soak it overnight at room temperature, all right? And if you could soak it in either distilled water or reverse osmosis water, I just wouldn't soak it in the tap water because if you're in Marion County, it's got fluoride and chlorine in it, or you can just soak it in, you know, in just spring water, all right? So soak it overnight, room temperature, take a chigger. You know what a chigger is? Or a shot glass? 
So take a shot glass or a chigger and of apple cider vinegar and put it in there and just put enough water to maybe uh, cover about 20% above the oatmeal, all right? And uh, then you'll be good to go in the morning. You just have to soak it overnight if it's organic. If it's non-organic, soaking it, it ain't going to help it. So organic oatmeal is going to be fine after you do that. Uh, and then you can have that for breakfast. Um, or you can buy organic sprouted oatmeal. It's already sprouted. And then you don't have to do anything. No, I really don't because there's not much protein in it. So uh, I don't love oatmeal as a breakfast. And oatmeal has some dietary phytates, like I said, in it that are reduced by the soaking process. You can have oatmeal, but you need to have something else with oatmeal. You got to have some eggs or something, chicken, fish, turkey, anything that has protein in it. I mean, I like egg omelets. Usually what I do, I take four eggs and only take two of the yolks. The other yolks I give to the dogs. I cook them and give them to the dogs. But two, uh, four eggs with two yolks. And I soak, I, I kind of uh, make an omelet in organic extra virgin coconut oil. I throw some organic kale, uh, maybe a couple of mushrooms, um, and some goat cheese or manchego sheep cheese. And I make an omelet and I have some water with it. That's a really good breakfast because it's high in protein, low in calories, low in fat, uh, and it's high in antioxidants uh, that are good for you. All right, you take care. All right, you're listening to Ask the Doctors. Actually, Ask the Doctors this morning. It's Dr. Michael Lang, who's been hosting this show since, wow, April of 1993 uh, on multiple radio networks, and we're live video streaming all over the world. And Dr. Hall, who is uh, the director of the Lang Eye Institute. He's also uh, on the Fortify Advisory Board, and he's spearheading uh, the entire project with the Lang Performance Nutrition Line. And he's on hold, and hopefully he didn't fall asleep. Doc, you're still there. So you did, you were one of the first to have the ILUX done by Stephanie at the Lang Eye Institute. Um, and just let our listeners know the ILUX is a procedure that helps open up the meibomian glands and helps people with dry eye. Let our uh, listeners know how the procedure went and, and what you think.
absolutely. It's straight from Doc Hall. Uh, he was a guinea pig, basically. <laughs> and uh, he did really well. And we've done a lot of these procedures since then. It's helping quite a, quite a few patients. So you're interested in doing it. We're one of the select group of doctors doing this uh, in the villages. Uh, it's called ILUX. It is $599 to do it. It is not covered by your insurance. Uh, but set up an appointment. Uh, come on and see me, see any of our doctors, to see if you're a candidate for it. And with that, we're going to go to a Louisiana caller, my old stomping ground, Deborah in Louisiana. Good morning. Fabulous. How's it going in Louisiana? Sounds like you're under the weather. Uh huh. So what can I do for you today? Yes, I can. I'm glad you called. So I sometimes get the flu very rarely and I knock it out in 24 hours. And so write this down. Number one, you are going to actually get some organic green tea or better yet, matcha tea. Matcha tea is very potent green tea. It's bright green. And you're going to take a teaspoon of that and you're going to put it in hot water and you're going to add a teaspoon of raw local honey. So you're going to go to your local health food store or wherever in Louisiana, get some raw local honey. It's got to be local honey because of the uh, potential antigens that are in this, the pollen, basically, it helps you for your area. Then you're going to take some organic extra virgin coconut oil, another teaspoon, and then you're going to take one of our proteins, either the whey protein, grass-fed whey protein isolate made by Fortify, or our super protein, any one of those, because a whey protein stimulates your immune system and helps fight against viruses. The same thing uh, that the a coconut oil, the raw honey, and uh, the green tea do. So combine all four of those, and you should be fine. Oh, okay. It'll, it'll take about 24 hours, and you should really start to feel better, depending on how virulent the virus is. But it's helped me, it's helped my kids dramatically, but you got to drink it three times a day. Three times a day? Three times a day. And with that... The music's on. That means we're going to have to take off. Deborah, Louisiana, have a great day. And remember, everybody listening, tune back in to uh, for another hour here in, a few, in about six minutes. I'll be back. Bye-bye. Okay. This one can hear me. That one and that one can not. You guys, on this... Facebook page, the one I'm looking at right now, and Michael, just Michael Lang, wasn't connected. All the other ones were connected, so you were just hearing us through the headphones. So sometimes you heard it, sometimes you didn't hear it. But I'm going to get off of all this, and then in about six minutes, you'll be on and you'll hear us, because we're going to go through the whole regular network. All right. See you in six minutes. I didn't know about this. <laughs> it was a newbie because yes. I pulled that in when that wasn't working. But then I think that goes live on that too. It was probably displaced at a different area. So some people are listening to that because it started, but now we won't have to have that because that's working. Got it. Got it. That's what threw us off. Right, let me pull Instagram unplugged. All right. Now Instagram can hear me. Uh, we'll be back in about, oh, I don't know. What about five minutes? Five minutes. Mm, about maybe, seven or eight. Maybe seven or eight minutes. So we'll be back. Doc Hall will be a guest still. Uh, have your questions ready. See ya. And all right. And now share the story. And then those guys. Yeah, you're going to want to finish that and then restart it here in a couple of minutes. Finish the stream. Mm -hmm. Be back in seven minutes. Yep. All right. Make sure you finish.